Yeah. Yo, Copper Fam, this one is a special one. Uh, we were in Russia interviewing football players, and they go to me, you know what? Pusha T said, do you want to interview him and do a little chill out? I was like, wait a minute, Pusha fucking T is here? And yeah. he is here, right next to me, King What's Push. Up, man? How you doing? I am absolutely blessed to be here. Thank you. In Moscow, as the US guys would say. For sure. How are you feeling today? Beautiful. I feel beautiful I'm in, as I'm, well. I'm in Moscow. You know, it's cold, but it's not too cold. You know, we're making it. We're making it happen. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's going good, well. man. World Cup going on. World Cup you know, is happening. Swag. I feel like a little kid right now, so I'm just going to... I'm just, just basically saying what's on my mind. Okay. Do you like football? Yeah. Do you watch it? Uh, Sometimes. Yeah. Do you have, like, a team maybe that you follow here and there? Uh, No, not necessarily a team. Um, You know, just players. Yeah, yeah, players. yeah. And the World Cup. Have you got the World Cup ball here? Because he pushes a, he's a swagged out dude. Oh. Yeah. You feeling the ball? Yeah, of course. Fresh, super fresh. Fresh, super yeah. fresh. Um, and how about the kits? I see you got the Germany kit on. Yeah, man. You know, I, I, I've, I've been heavily into football jerseys for like, I don't know how long. I mean, I'm, you know, it's even funny me saying football, soccer jerseys. You've, you're on but, the right side. He said football. <laughs> yeah. But I'm on this side, so I'm going to say football. And, um, I've been heavily in this um, football jerseys for some time now. I see um, you were rocking the, the Milan. I think it was an AC Milan jersey yep. on your. Um, that was my yeah. That was my tour wardrobe. Yeah, 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 one, yeah. one tour, honestly, as well as um, you know, when when I came to Adidas, uh, it was actually what I wanted to do. I wanted to do a football collaboration in okay. apparel. What do you reckon it is that football is obviously? Football jerseys, especially, they're infiltrating fashion and yeah. culture. It seems because we see like of course they Migos are. are wearing like Arsenal jerseys. Chelsea yeah. Drake wears like every club. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. You're, you're rocking the Germany right now. You dropped yeah. the, the AC Milan. What do you reckon it is that this kind of maybe European culture is coming to US? The football jerseys are a hybrid of like leisure mm -hmm. and luxury. Mm -hmm. um, the colorful uh, material it, it gives off a little bit of a pop. Mm -hmm. um, you know. You can you can wear it with um, you can wear it with your jeans and you know just it, it, the silhouette just really works. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? O over top of your jeans, shorts, whatever the look you you're going for. Have you got like a favorite jersey that you have at home and you're like, yeah, this is the one. Like, this is the color or Man, something. Um, I used to like the yellow Mexico one. Okay. Yeah, man. And uh, and and I used to um, personalize all of my jerseys. So what was That's it? You put I like did. a name on the back and names on the back. My name, cartel names. They represented the country. Okay. You know that type of thing. So you've been you've been watching Netflix and and the uh, the Cali guys. I did, yeah, but I did that way before then. Like I was wearing jerseys way before, you know. Talk to me. Everybody what, else. What year? What year? Because <laughs> I say that I we've been doing that in the UK. I'm like. <laughs> I was like 12, 13, I'd be like, no, I'm wearing a jersey today. And people were like, man, you can't wear that out. I'm like, no, you can. And then 10 years later, everybody's wearing a jersey. Me definitely starting my solo rap career. Okay. I was totally into jerseys. I was put in the newspaper in Italy mm -hmm. for, you know, I guess glorifying one of the crime families okay. because I had on a soccer jersey. And this was just, I was at a show and then they just, you know, Put me on the uh, one of the front pages of the of the paper. Like, look at this guy. He's terrible. How For dare real? he put this, you know, on the back of his jersey? And um, yeah, that's where it started for me. Okay. I mean, you know, it's it's been a while. So you kind of you're saying you set the trend though in terms of. Of course I did. That everybody's doing. I now, totally set the trend. King push. I totally <laughs> set the trend. You had it here first. I totally King set push. the trend. Set the trend. All I you totally guys. set the trend. Totally personalized. I totally like. I don't know. You know, everybody else is probably, you know, liking their favorite, you know, footballer. Mm. You know, this was some, this is definitely a fashion thing. You welcome Paul Pogba to, yes. to, to Instagram. Are, yes. you guys, are you guys cool? Do you ever like, have you spoken to him? Man, it was just, it was just on my end, it was just a, a fan thing. Like, you know, okay. he, his energy, charisma, you know, his swag is just like, he's like a rapper. He is, right? Yeah. So, so, you know, um, you know, that was me welcoming him to uh to adidas mm -hmm. trying to get him to sign over at adidas which he eventually did you got that presidential vibe obviously good music oh man yeah how, how, how's that kind of is that changed for you like you stepping into these roles now um you know it's a uh, it's, it's definitely uh more of an ambassador role mm. um 
you know, where where I'm where I'm uh, it's not just all music. It's more about, you know, relationships and, and reaching out and being diplomatic with artists and, um, you know, just just trying to 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 embrace and find energy that can can work for the brand, the good music brand. It was you, right, that, that got designer. Yeah, for sure. Like Undergo Music. What did you see in designer? Because obviously he's a, maybe a controversial character in the rap game of yeah. his style, his flow. I personally love the energy. I mean, the energy is amazing. The, what made you go like, okay? That's what it was. His, his, his energy in the song, um, Panda, was just immediately infectious. Incredible. Immediately infectious. I don't think anybody can <laughs> deny. <laughs> How can he say Pegasus? That's when I actually went on yeah. Rap Genius, bro. Yeah. And I looked at the lyrics. Yeah. I said, nobody can talk shit. This is li- <laughs> this is lyrical. He was flowing. Yeah, definitely, man. His flowing. energy is second to none. But in general, the rap game now. And there's a lot of debate, you know, with the old school kind of new school cats and mm-hmm. maybe Joe Budden coming in and he's he's there saying stuff and kind of the little, I said the little cat category, little yachty, little mm-hmm. pump. And what's your take on, on how rap has maybe gone to this this part of creativity? Man, you, you know, I, I feel like, um, you know, I caught a I caught a little flack the other day because they, they I, I made a statement that lyric driven hip hop wasn't as important in hip hop today. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I'm still sticking by that. Like, I, you know, I, I'm a lyric driven artist. Mm. You know, um, I'm, I'm into lyricism. That's the hip hop that I know. But, you know, I feel like hip hop today is more about vibe and more about energy. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I can't, um, you can't sit up here and deny that. You can't deny that and you can't deny the youth their energy and, and, and their version of something that transformed from what it was mm-hmm. with lyric driven to, mm-hmm. to now. Um, I don't think that I don't think lyric driven goes out of style. I'm yeah. not saying anything's wrong with that. You can get a lot of enjoyment out of seeing somebody's passion in their music. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. just, just as much as you can get enjoyment out of it being lyrical. Mm-hmm. Like if you if somebody's passionate, like you'll say, man, I'll say, damn, you know, I love Biggie. Like I love Biggie, his metaphor similes was great. But then you can also say, damn, I love Pac, man. He yelled at you the whole time. Mm. You know, <laughs> but it, you know, two different rap styles. Yeah, but I appreciate you know, them. Pa- well. Yeah, passion versus lyricism. So would you say you you accept the evolution? I you kind totally of accept, accept it the evolution. What would you say to the old cats that don't? Do you reckon they need to just give the young younger guys now a bit more? Freedom, or is that all welcome? Uh, it's the rap game, like. It's, I, it. I feel like it's. I feel like it, it. You know, I feel like um, opinions are welcome in the rap game. So if if it's not your hip hop and it's not what you like, then that's fine. But I will say before you, you know, totally discount it, disown it, or dismiss it. I will say go outside and get in the element of it, mm-hmm. bef- you know, and and be amongst it, so that you can, before you be like, oh, I'm I'm over it. You can't really I feel do it to me. So, I mean, I feel like that's I feel like that's what helps me. And yeah, what yeah, has helped yeah. me, I, I'm I'm still outside. I'm still in the mix. So. so it's almost like learn from experience rather yeah. than just a pure judgmental. Right, right, right. So Joe, go to a Young Thug concert and man, leave get. Joe alone, man. <laughs> I mess with Joe, my man. Like don't 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 do Joe. Don't gonna, single I'm Joe out, man. I'm not gonna single him out. Don't single Joe out, as well. man. Joe, um, my man. I like him in the Yachty game. Yachty, my though. man, too. But he's Yachty needed. I feel like Joe Budden is needed in the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Because without sure. him, then who's having the, who's, yeah. who's the one saying everything? Yeah, for in sure. A way. For sure. So, um, you need perspectives. You do. Did you did you really write the McDonald's theme tune? Da, for sure. Da, 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 da. Yeah. I'm loving it. You hear that? Yeah. Internet. <laughs> it is true. Because <laughs> I was seeing the bait and like the guys came out, the McDonald's guys, and they were like, oh, no, it's not true. Da, 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 da. You hear that? This man here. Cut it out. Your, your Cut it out. I, I th- there's a ver- I'm sure the version is online somewhere. It's, it's um, believe me and my brother rhyming on it or whatever. Damn. Yeah. What what kind of what was the inspiration? What made you go like, yo, this is it? This one oh, line. Oh no, it was it was it was Steve Stout. It was Steve Stout. Um, it was somewhere around the heels of Justin Timberlake uh, going solo and us doing the song together. Maybe Justin was on the hook or on the bridge of, of, of the commercial. Damn. We had raps for it, you know. 
But you were the man that came up with better da da da. No, I no. Or was it I'm loving? Maybe, maybe maybe Pharrell or whatever. Maybe Pharrell or Justin came up with, or maybe it was McDonald's who said, "Hey, the catchphrase is I'm loving it." Okay. And that's you know so so we built the whole thing around that. Dope, but yeah. he is the man behind the catchphrase. Um, yeah. Cardi B. They talk about energy. Who? Talking about Cardi B. Oh yeah, ill. Give me your thoughts on Cardi B. I love Cardi B. Cardi B is definitely the winner of 2017. She wins. <laughs> Cardi, money, you know, we get this money. She yeah. wins. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And 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 you know, more winner. so than more so than anything, um, you can say that reality, her mm-hmm. reality and her being real and her being herself is what everybody really loves about Cardi B. She's I mean, that's what I love about dope. her. Like, I mean, you know, a lot of us were fans before Bodak Yellow. Mm-hmm, mm, yep. And then to see Bodak Yellow win and to see her on um, the other g Easy record. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, just getting her, you know, getting, getting, getting her shine. It's, it's, it's really good. It's rare that personalities transfer it onto the rap game so successfully. Right, and right, I right. Think for her to do that is absolutely amazing really good let's end it on on uk rap because i know you gotta go i mean i could go on for ages i'm a fan but uk rap okay end it on this um have you got a favorite uk rap obviously you've worked with stormzy but have you, do you keep I'm, up with uk rap do you listen I've, um i have um stormzy gigs uh skepta mm-hmm. um man i've done records i mean as far back as tiny temper Oh, for real? Um, Big Shaq? I haven't. You know about Big Shaq? Mm-mm. Can I show you Big Shaq? Yeah, of course. <laughs> you seen Big Shaq? Have you seen it? That's Man's Not Hot. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scrap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I missed that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, man. Absolute pleasure. Are you going to be out in Russia next year? Um, come out, World watch, watch some games and stuff. Yeah, for sure, probably so. Yeah, I'm I mean, pretty sure. USA aren't. They didn't they're qualify. Not, they're not there, but um, my Adidas family will have me there. I'm sure. You're gonna come over, enjoy it, bro. Yeah. It'll be a pleasure to have you again. Absolute hero. Right. Thank you, Push. Yes, sir. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. We had a little quick interview there with Pusha T from Good Music, the president. What happened to that boy? Brrr. Can you do the noise? Brrr. Oh man! Did you do that on the track? Nah, who did that? Birdman. That was Birdman. 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 Oh, what happened? Let Birdman do his own noises. <laughs> when we have Birdman on, he can do it, <laughs> bro. Thank you and have a nice. Can I get a have a nice from you? <laughs> have a nice. Have a nice.